Hello? Yes, this is Agent Brett Barrett. Are you sure I'm the only one who can do this? There's nobody else. Okay, I'll get right on it. Thank you. Sorry, that was just the CIA. They have just given me an urgent mission that I have to be the first person ever to get a basketball stuck. Sorry for that intro, man. Look on the screen right now. Just look on the screen right now. Okay, so I was chilling behind the basket and I was like, yo, this is, everything's great. I'm having a fun day. If you guys are doing me a favor, hit subscribe. That would be absolutely awesome. I was, I was just shooting from behind here and I saw this. And I was like, what the actual heck is going on right there? Do you see the image I'm looking at? I fast forwarded all the way back to this one. So watch this shot. I shoot it up there and it just stops. It completely stops at the top. And I was like, yo, this would make for a perfect video. Is it possible to get a ball stuck in this game? Because I believe that that was pretty much as close to stuck as it could get. I honestly for a second did not think that was coming down. I was about to flip out, just title the video already and call it a day. But I shot this. You could see by where it went. It hits the top and then it kind of gets stuck behind the rim and just sits there. Now, this is what we're gonna be testing out today is, is it possible to get a ball stuck? This is gonna be like a five, six minute video. We're gonna take like a thousand shots with James Harden. I may eventually start simulating. I'm gonna give this about 35 minutes on my end, probably just to see if I can make it happen. But let's go ahead and see if we can do it. You can see right there, I'm gonna switch camera angles to a free roam camera angle. You can see what I mean. The ball is stuck. The ball is literally sitting back there completely stuck and James Harden can not get it. Weirdest thing ever. I, I really don't know what to say, but it's time to go try. I got the player lock feature and I'm going to be telling stories once again because people seem to like when I tell stories on the channel. They want to know more about my life. They want to hear more about the craziest things that have ever happened. So I'm going to open up about something that I haven't talked that much about on the channel. Maybe in the past if you're like an OG subscriber, uh, but it's the high, my high school football career. So I talk a lot about my college and stuff. But I don't talk a lot about my high school. So I was a quarterback, pretty decent, grade 12 year. Game number one. Okay, let me just explain because I, I like I like telling stories. Um, I'm gonna explain to you kind of guys kind of what exactly went down and everything. So there was a crosstown rivalry, major, major crosstown rivalry. Like it was super to the point where it was like we did not like each other. What? Oh, that almost got it. I, I almost just flipped out because I thought we had it. We really, really didn't like each other whatsoever. So game number one. We're in front of thousands of people, and I had played like quite a bit of quarterback in my life, but it was my first time starting for this team. I started for the League All-Star team, but the year before me, we had a really, really like, I don't know what, I don't, I don't even want to talk about. I, I feel like I should have been the starter. He, he knows I feel like I should have been the starter. Um, and I didn't play much that year. I did play, but I wasn't like the starting quarterback. So game number one, in front of thousands of people, crazy crosstown rivalry. Things go bad. I like. I think I got at least a couple touches. Like my stats weren't awful. I was able to run the ball still, but it was a really, really bad game. Like it was completely demoralizing. The other team, like mind you, oh, yo, this is actually a potential thing that could happen. Uh, the other team was actually probably more talented across the board. I would say they had been building up for that season for like three. It's one of those things that like in high school, do you like like a high school rebuild? Like I remember when I was in grade ten. A lot of their grade 10s were starting and they were just kind of folding, hoping to like like make the team better in that kind of sense. So they were super good. I got picked off twice. My worst pick ever, I came off the edge. I threw one of the dumbest passes of my life. Go watch my highlights if you guys are here right now and you're judging. Maybe I'll put my highlights in the corner. You know what? As I'm telling the story, I'm gonna put my highlight film in the corner just so you guys see that I'm not total trash and that you're not completely just judging me right now as I try and get this ball stuck. Uh, but that game went overall pretty bad. We ended up losing. It was really, and we lost on a, what's called a rouge in Canada. We lost from them kicking the ball through the end zone. The game was tied. They went for a field goal and they kicked the ball through the end zone. And that is how we ended up losing. It was completely demoralizing. It absolutely sucked. I remember being beyond heated. Like there's heated. And then there was me. I was just livid. We all were. And then we went through the rest of the game. I had a pretty good season. Me and my buddy had like, we had a bunch of like consecutive, like three touch three touchdown games where we were each getting like three like I was throwing him like three touchdowns I think I had one four touchdown game in terms of passing with like two rushing like I had a pretty good season I'm not gonna lie oh you guys will see stuff's gonna be on the screen uh, but then that th all throughout the season all we heard was how much better I remember at church they were like telling my family members the players who went to my church like oh Hunting Hills which is my school I don't know I just did everything 
And oh! What the heck was that? I don't want to give this too much time because I really don't want to waste your guys' life. But come on. Come on. That should have been stuck. But it's just, you can see the momentum. It wasn't quite perfect. Um, so we go through all that. We're getting tripped. I remember League Finals. I felt different. Like, we went into that League Finals game, and I just had a different feeling in my head. I was like, this is going to be ugly. I went into that game with so, like, the first game, I wasn't crazy confident. I'll, I'll be honest. I was not that confident. So, in my opinion, like, I, I don't know. I was a little bit nervous in the beginning. Oh, that's the longest it's been stuck right there. That's the longest it's been stuck on that one. Uh, in, the, in the beginning, I was like, I was somewhat nervous about everything. And then as we went uh, throughout the season, as I got my confidence up and scholarship offers, I started to get, like, I remember I had a few offers uh, like mid-season. So obviously that boosts your ego up when you're getting like college offers. You're like, you know what? Maybe I am sick. I was the leading passer in the league. I had the most touchdowns in the league with like 26, I think, by the end of it. Um, so like I, my confidence was pretty high. So we went to that final game. I remember the first thing, running back, takes the ball right off the bat, fumbles it, okay? Now, game like two, or game one maybe it was, there was a fumble, and on film, I got chewed apart because I never chased the fumble. I got absolutely owned because I didn't even chase it. And that was like a big issue. I remember my coach telling me how dumb that was getting mad at me. So right off the bat in the league final, there was a fumble, and I completely chased the ball down. I was the one who ended up recovering it. Next play, we throw a touchdown pass. We ended up dropping 46 on these guys. I threw four touchdown passes, three to my friend, had one rushing touchdown. And I remember we had blue uniforms and they had red. And everyone, like the whole thing that went around that whole year was red is the new blue. That, that was like the big thing. It was like red is the new blue. And that's what everyone was talking about. Everyone was saying that that was the thing. But I was like, you know what? And then I'm so I remember when we won, all I said the whole game was <laughs> Look at this. This was low key a little bit discouraging. Check this out. It gets to this point and I was like it's about to stop. It's about to stop. It's stuck. You see this? It keeps rolling all the way off. <sighs> Anyone Okay, anyone who does this and sends me a picture of it sitting up there or a video, tweets me out a video or on Instagram, Instagrams me a video, I will chuck you a $50 PSN code to anyone who manages to get that. I'm not saying you should spend your night and your Saturday night doing this, but I'm saying it's definitely something I want people to try and like there it's going to fall off. I'm so curious if it's possible. I think I'm going to end the video. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying it though like if, if I get it like I'm probably gonna give this I'm gonna watch some Game of Thrones and I'm gonna try this for another probably 30 40 minutes I would say but if I don't end up getting it in that 30 40 I'm just gonna have to call it a day say goodbye to you guys This is a new challenge the new mark has been set you guys see I, I think it's possible I didn't finish my high school story um what I was gonna say pretty much that last game said blue is the blue we won the league championship and that was it That was all she wrote great season probably one of the funnest seasons ever uh, I'll never forget it with like my high school friends there cherish those moments guys If I could say one thing to all you guys cherish those high school football moments Because you don't get them back and like there's still those guys who I talk to But we're never gonna be as close as we were and it's never gonna have that same feeling of just Dominating them and screaming in their ear. I remember after scoring a touchdown screaming in the opposing team's ear Blue is still blue because blue was still blue James Harden one more three just for the kids at home If you guys don't see me again I probably didn't get it within the hour or within one Game of Thrones episode. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you guys if you don't see me in a few minutes next time.